yesterday I put up on Twitter an idea for an animation to make a little piece of fruit swinging across the, the screen. What I'm going to do is a strawberry. So I need to figure out what my strawberry looks like and my path of action. I think I'm going to do like a little, little character like this and on my key poses up his legs will be bent then he'll swing down come up this side come around swing back and this will be our path of action kind of this wonky figure eight type thing so as he comes down I'm going to tilt him back a little bit he's got this goofy little smile and then he'll come across and when he gets up here he'll change directions we'll want our spacing at this top part to be closer together and then it gets further apart so as we come down everything will gradually get further away from each other and then as we come up this side the drawings will get closer and closer then as we come down so we're slowing out of this pose coming up and easing into this pose easing in all right so let's go ahead and open up Krita and start animating. Create a new file, 1280 by 720. Set a key at one. And I'm gonna look at my little sheet for reference. So he will come up. Legs will be bent. And our next drawing, see we wanna go down and back. So I'm gonna hold down control. Copy frame one to 37. So right in the middle, go to frame 19, set a key, and this will be his key pose on this side. Halfway between that, frame 10. Let's go to, let's go to nine. He's like, yay, I'm swinging. And so I accidentally set a key right on eight. So I'm going to remove frame. Right now I'm, I'm trying to think kind of like straight ahead as I'm creating my poses. So he's going to come down this direction. Okay, the next thing we'll do is go to frame five, set a key. And this will be our... I guess you could call it like a, a major breakdown. So he's coming down. Still got that goofy smile. And as you notice, I'm leaving off the dots. I'm just gonna add the dots later. So he comes down, swings up. So let's add the other one in between here. Frame 24. If we have our drawings too close together here, we'll want to space them so that the drawings are closer and they progressively get further apart. And then coming up this side, they'll start getting closer again. Okay, let's go ahead and as he comes down, we'll go to frame three, insert key. key in between these two. So I'm constantly flipping to see where I came from and where I'm going. Oh man, it does not like my recording software. Okay, good. It didn't crash. It just lagged up. So control S, save. I have a feeling my video card's not 
good enough to run my recording software and crit it at the same time. So we'll just work through that. Okay, I'm going to animate him coming down and up to the other side. And I'll speed through him coming down from screen left to right because it's going to be the same process. So I want another drawing in between here. Little feet kicking out. Whee! And again, we want to watch our spacing and make sure it's tighter towards the top and it gradually gets wider. So, so the space between here and here, we'll want it to get bigger and then bigger and bigger and bigger. The drawings are, are closer and tighter up through here and then they spread apart as we come down. And we'll play with that same principle going up this way. You know, it reminds me of uh, swinging on the swing set. You kind of lead with your hips. And again, we're going to bring him up slightly before he comes down. Up and then down. There we go. And remember, we're looping, so whatever we do to one, we're going to bring that over to frame 38. So go to frame one, hold down control, click and drag, and crit a 3.0. You don't have to you don't have to start on one. You can copy frame zero. In Krita 2.9, you can't do that. One reason I start on frame one. Uh, but the other reason I start on frame one is because I like to work on odd numbers, one, three, nine, seven, and uh, I just find it easier to kind of manage my keys. And the reason I don't use Crita 3.0 is because with my recording software, it it crashes like all the time, and I'm I'm pretty sure that's my video card, but who knows? It could be the drivers of the Unova, because uh, when I uninstall them, it seems to kind of do a little better, but then I don't get pressure sensitivity. A frame 18 set a keyframe, and this will be a drawing. We're easing into this pose up here. This top pose of 21. So we'll need to figure out how he gets up there. I find it really hard to draw sideways like this. <laughs> so I'm going to do another little cheat. I'm going to draw him up here, flip him over, this switch right here will just kind of be quick, it's a little jarring up in here right, boom boom boom, let's add some keys in, in between these frames. Now animation is definitely a, a labor of love because you get these like quirky ideas. You're like, oh man, I have this great idea. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. And then four hours later, you're thinking, man, was it really that funny? <laughs> um, but just power through it. it, it's worth it in the end. A key in between these frames. I'm gonna kind of favor this top pose. Now, now this arc is looking better, so this one has to come down a bit. 
I'm going to just keep adding drawings and I'll be back in a second. Okay, now that we have our main motion down, let's add our secondary little cap. Okay, so the the top of his head is starting to look like a like a fingerless rubber glove instead of the leaves on top of the strawberry. So I'm going to redo it. Okay, I went ahead and added the dots, and I, I like the, the leaves on the top of the head a lot better. Okay, let's go ahead and do a rough color, create a new layer, and we'll name this color. Okay, so now he's roughly colored, and I gave him little red shoes. Let's add a new layer. And we'll call this rope. Okay, cool. Now that we have the rope in, let's add his arms and hands. Okay, well, that was fun. So, thank you guys for all the positive feedback. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Happy creating.